What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weave here and we're back in my closet to watch episode 7 of Claymore so last episode uh, we're following Teresa and Claire um, that one bandit that got his hand cut off by Teresa followed him and then tried to take advantage of Teresa uh, but then uh, got scared off when Teresa showed her showed her body to him and then Claire came in to bop him in the head and uh, the guy was starting to attack Claire and Teresa went into protective mode and then uh, scared him off. Then they went to a town. Uh, Teresa was saying she was going to leave Claire there um, after she took out the Yoma. And then as soon as she left Claire, that group of bandits went over to that town and Teresa was dealing with the conflict of uh, even though she's part of the organization and her job is to just take out Yoma, uh, what's the point in saving uh, people like these bandits because the bandits just took advantage of her taking out the Yoma and then raided the, the town that Claire was in and in the moment Teresa went into protective mode again and uh, the bandits were testing her to see if she would actually attack humans because it, they're not supposed to uh, but once she saw Claire was uh, kidnapped she went beast mode, took them out, and then uh, her handler brought her to some claymores because she was supposed to be executed, but she found a reason to live, and uh, it's for Claire. So uh, the handler, the organization, called for, I think, the rank 2 to 5 claymores to hunt her down. So it looks like we're going to be following that. Uh, so let's see what happens next. Let's jump into episode 7 of Claymore. Marked for death. <laughs> now they're about to be haunted. Uh oh, sound like some chase music. <laughs> nope. Nope, just more Yoma. Yoma Nest. Jeez. Oh, here we go. The other Claymore. Is this number two to five? Number four. <laughs> Woo! She cut through the pillar. Yeah! Can't hide. Oh, good. <laughs> They're gonna fight for the spot. Number two. <laughs> she doesn't even have to move. What is that? Dang, so she still used her blade. It doesn't even look like she moved. Okay, so just two, three, and four. Hmm. Oh, there's a new number two? Oh, oh, y'all be dropping in the ranks. Uh oh. Dang, a novice. Mm. Uh oh, she got some hidden strength. <laughs> Priscilla. <laughs> Let's see it. Uh oh, don't get killed now. Yeah. 
can't even touch her. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> oh, she's gonna see the Yoma in the alley. Jeez. So she fights very similar to Teresa. Oh, goodness, we got a prodigy over here. Oh, <laughs> gotta handle the Yoma here still. Even though she's not part of the organization anymore. You're done. Yeah, she doesn't have to say that anymore. <laughs> she, she's not part of the organization. No. Yeah, she's experiencing a lot of new things now. Now that she's not part of the organization. Oh, and now the claymore is about to pull up. Oh, jeez. She's feeling the presence. Yep. Dang, they caught her quick. Found her quick. Oh, they're about to destroy the inn. Oh boy. Yep. What's up? <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, but she is. Dang. Oh, wee. Mm -hmm. She is a beast. See those 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 three can't compete, but the, the new girl. <laughs> and now she has to worry about Claire. Worry about protecting her too. Oh Jeez, there she is. She fights the same way as you, Teresa. Oh, they just gonna run the ones? Alright, we're getting a fair fight here. Oh no, is Claire about to just see her get taken out? She's breaking the rules. She's changing things in the organization. She was taking out some bad guys. You've been brainwashed, Priscilla. Yeah. The world doesn't just operate based on the organization. But this girl's a problem. Ooh wee! Little challenge. Ooh! She got the moves! Yeah, huh? <laughs> oh! Oh, she can read people's movements. Yomas. Yeah, so now Teresa can't read her her moves. 
Dang. That's crazy. Ooh <laughs> They're going crazy right now. Going below for below. Ooh. Ooh. Got a little scratch. Dang. Dang, Teresa is stronger. Oh, she's a beast. She's the best for a reason. Wearing you down, girl. Oh. She's fighting for something bigger. Claire. She getting frustrated. <laughs> Woo no way, she's able to she's gonna take her out. Oh dang. Saved her. This ain't fair, man. We have 4v1. Oh, but she's nasty. Jeez, leave her alone. Yeah, they, they were sent to do the job together because they know how strong Teresa is. Yo, oh. oh, they busting out the Yoma powers. Dang, they gotta bring them out. That's weak, man. That's weak. You too? Dang, she's busting them out. My goodness. All four of them. Teresa, are you gonna bust yours out? You gotta do it. There's no way. Oh, <laughs> Alrighty, well, we got to meet. Uh, number two to five, uh, the Claymores that are sent to take on Teresa. Teresa found a town to, to try and relax in with Claire. The people, the, the people in the town were really appreciative of her taking out that Yoma. Um, she was hoping to get some rest, but those Claymores found her pretty quickly. And then we got straight to business. Uh, number two was a novice who just jumped up the rankings really quick because she's um, she's just a prodigy. She they they were comparing her to uh, her fighting ways uh, being similar to Teresa because she doesn't really use her Yoma powers and she has some morals. She wanted to do this one on one against Teresa, but in the end, Teresa is best, and uh, the other claymores understood that and uh, told her that. She, she just has to focus on trying to kill Teresa, and they're going to back her up. So they all activated their Yoma powers. Um, not sure how Teresa's going to deal with that. Uh, my guess is she's going to have to she's going to have to activate hers too. So can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.